Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. You can find me at MCWare for you. I started reselling back in 1999. Been doing it on and off, but I've been completely full-time. This is my only job for the past five, six years. So today I'm going to do a newer video, like a What Sold With Me video, in the past 24 hours. I have eight sales. Two on eBay, five on Posh, two on eBay, that's seven. Six on Posh, two on eBay. Okay. Okay, cut that out. All right, so I have eight sales. I won't show you the addresses, uh, just for people's privacy. So what I do is I first print out everything on Posh and eBay, the labels, and then I write on each label what label goes with what item otherwise my memory is all not that great because I have accidentally made a mistake where I shipped the wrong thing to the wrong person before so by writing it it just kind of makes that not happen so I am going to just show you one by one what sold and I have it written down how much so I'm going to start with the two items that sold on eBay because those items get get um shipped to ground just to save people some money and eBay does offer you could um, ship it priority mail or ground shipping which is a few dollars cheaper and so people do like that and on Poshmark they don't offer you that so I'm gonna just be inserting pictures right here of what sold so you can see it without me you know taking it out of each bag so this is actually this dress right here it's a evening wear dress and it's Alex I have it written down if you see me reading. It's a navy blue sequence Alex Evenings full length dress. And it's a size 14. And it sold for $60. And after fees, I got $54. And I paid $6. So again, when all is said and done, Poshmark and eBay, they do take a 20% commission. So whatever you sell, like when I say $60, you know, keeping in mind that's before the commission. Okay. Anyways, so what I do is I have it. I take a thank you sticker. These little stickers I get on Amazon or AliExpress. And they just say thank you for supporting my small business because I do appreciate. Um, I appreciate every single sale regardless of how little, how large, whatnot. So this is the black, I mean the navy blue dress. And so I also get these bags on Amazon and I do need to pay for these bags. So that is the only downside because priority mail boxes and bags are free from the post office. So, okay, so we wrap it, looks like that. I grab one of these little inserts, find the right label so we are not making any mistakes. And here it is, all right. Eight items in 24 hours. Nothing to complain about. I know a lot of people sell 30 items in 24 hours, 30 items a day. That is a lot of wrapping to do. All right, Whoops. I wanna show you the, but that's how, how it looks. And we toss it over there. Okay, so the next thing is a Lily of France vintage bra that sold on eBay and here's a picture of it little tiny bra and it is vintage Lily of France like I said it is a oh, 36b and it sold for $25 and I paid $3 again sold for $25 they take their 20% commission and the profit is still there, so it's okay. All right, again, a little tiny white bag and finding the right label. Okay. Fold the label. Some people take the time to cut the label off the paper, but ain't no time for that. So, again, you can get these little label to put the labels in free at the post office 
um, before I knew about them, I would use clear tape and tape it onto the package, which was an extra step that I didn't like and an extra cost that I didn't like because I would have to purchase the clear tape. Two down. Okay. So next we have, I'm going to move my little notes here so I'm not constantly going like that. Okay. So the next item, I've been, this was a super bad buy. These are some men's Carhartt vintage button fly overalls. And I found them last fall. So I've really been sitting on them. And I paid $17, which is just too much. And they sold for $40. And then, of course, Poshmark took their 20%. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting a piece of paper, wrapping it just a little bit, and then sealing it with a thank you sticker. And I'm going to actually ship these in a box. I really hope the girl is happy. I don't know if she brought them for her boyfriend, husband, father, because um, on Poshmark you could see the, like pictures of the people that buy the things. And she is a very little girl. So anyways, I'm going to ship it in this Amazon box. Um, and I was out and about when she purchased them, but she did ask a question. And I really do like, I'm looking for my tape, and I don't know where my tape gun is right now. So I'm going to have to set this one aside with the label to tape it later. So I'm going to set this over here. Hopefully it's not in the way. Okay, so I was out actually working and sourcing when she asked me a question about those overalls. So I do hope she's happy. And it wasn't really a question. It was just she wanted me to model them. And I don't really generally model clothes. I used to, but it was just too time consuming. And it wasn't, it didn't add anything or it didn't make things sell any, any um, quicker or anything. So I don't model anymore and of course those overalls were not my size they were men's and yeah so i know but occasionally you do have people ask you to model things and if you feel comfortable modeling them by all means model them okay so next i have two pairs of earrings and um actually my friend alistair if you're watching hello she brought these little stud earrings and I do have a virtual, a, a Poshmark virtual assistant. And when someone likes anything in my closet within 30 minutes, my virtual assistant will send a 10% offer. And that is what happened with these. Um, I do have in the description, if you purchase um, a pair for full price, you get a pair for free. But since this was my friend, I didn't say anything. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So she purchased these earrings that were listed for $10 and my virtual assistant sent her a $9 offer, which she accepted. And then I told her to choose another pair because it's buy one, get one free. So she chose these cute little yellow hearts and they are a real stone, which I'm not sure. It's a cold to touch. Maybe it's glass. So let's see. So she purchased the earrings for um, $9. And um, if you sell anything on Posh for under $10, they automatically take a $2.98 fee. So my profit was $4.03, which is still profit, so it's all good. And so what I do with um, earrings, just to make them you know, seem a little special, I mean, they are special, but to make them feel special, because I know when I purchase something, I don't want it just thrown in any old way. I kind of like the whole experience of it. So what I do is I take a little sell you bag and I get these all different places. Sometimes I'm lucky enough to source them. Like this was Valentine's Day. And um, I think I brought like a hundred of them for like $10. So anyways, and then I also source this sort of like Easter grass, but not really. And so I haven't gotten any complaints yet. So that's why I'm using this. But if I got complaints, then I don't know if people have a thing like they don't want they don't like glitter and they don't like this. I'm not sure. But I just think it looks really cute and special in there. So I have all different colors. And I get this on AliExpress. 
I do pay $4 a bag. And oh, this one I got for a dollar. This one actually I sourced. But let me show you the ones that I do get at AliExpress in case anybody is interested. Okay. So the bags that are $4.63 or something at AliExpress. I'm looking at them now and they kind of do look like Easter grass to me. The purple one and there's just no label and I got a pink one that I'm digging into. So sizzle pack. I'm Oh yeah, this is Easter grass too, but it looks like the kind that you run through your um, paper shredder. So that's the one I'm using right now. Okay. But not that any of that mattered, but I still wanted to show you. Okay. So we got the grass in there and one earring, two earring. Sometimes I have little stickers that I collect and put in there for my um, buyers, but I don't think I have any of the stickers this time. So I'm just going to put the little earrings in and then also fold it and seal it with a thank you sticker. All right. And then, okay, look how pretty. And then I ship these in priority mailboxes because I do tend to only sell jewelry on Poshmark, not eBay. So again, I'm slipping that in there and we're finding the label and we are going to label her up. All right. Okay. So the next item I sold was a vintage 100% linen Carol of Paris white dress that I will be, there we go. And I'm going to seal that after because I want to put bubble wrap in there so it doesn't move around. Okay, so this white dress right here, it's 100% linen and it sold for $40. And that was an offer I took. I had it listed for 60, but I've had it for a few months. So to move it on out again, a little thank you sticker, white dress. And I purchased that dress at the Goodwill. The dresses are generally $5.99. And so I made about 20 something dollars on it. So with my linen, linen tends to wrinkle, as we all know. And with my linen, I, um, let me put this over here. With my linen dresses, I steam them before I take pictures. And then I fold them and, and put them in the bags. So I do hate that when someone takes it out of the bag, it probably does have a little bit of wrinkles that need to get taken out or maybe re or ironed. But I haven't had anyone really complain yet, so. But I do steam everything just to, like, kill the germs. And um, most of the stuff gets washed, but not everything because I know when people buy it, they're washing it anyway, or I would hope, so. And then that's that. That's the dress. Okay, so the next item... Okay, the next item are these Birkenstocks, which I just featured in a video a few days ago. In fact, I found them a few days ago. They're the Papa Leo, almost new, size eight and a half, 39, eight to eight and a half Birkenstocks. And this was a very good buy. Shoes always, always get sent in a priority mail shoe box on Posh. On eBay, it's a little tricky. I usually recycle Amazon boxes um, because on eBay, sometimes people don't choose priority mail. And I am still looking for my eBay tape, just one minute. Again, with the white paper, make them look special. I put them in the paper and I wrap them up. Wrap them up with the sticker and that was a very good buy I picked them up for $5.99 and I sold them within three days for $89 so again 
$89, and that is before Poshmark's 20% fee. It's still an amazing um, profit. So if you do find Birkenstocks, always, always pick them up because they do sell. Birkenstocks have been popular for so long now. And those little Mary Jane ones have a little something extra going on. And um, again, yes, I paid $6, sold them for $89, profited 20% off of that. Okay, so the next item is these J. Jill pants. And these are linen cotton blend, size XL. I think I have like three or four pairs listed. I originally bought them for me, but they were a little bit too big. And there we have it. Um, so they sold J. Jill, Pure Jill, actually. J. Jill and Pure Jill is the diffusion line. And they sold for $31. It was an offer from my VA that sent, I think I had them listed at $35. Sold for $31, paid for $99. And off they go to Delaware. I'm trying to hit up all 50 states right now. I tried this last year and I think I got all but like five states. But this year, and it's only the end of February, I've gotten all the states except for like three. So I have a map that I have in the other room hanging on the wall. And every time um, someone buys something from a state, I check it check it off. So I'm hoping by the end of the year to have sold to all the states and, you know, just for fun. Okay. And the eighth package is this linen, something I just picked up maybe a month ago, this year. Talbot, size 2X. Here's a picture of this linen blouse. And again, you could kind of see how people are buying linen right now. And it's a pink linen blouse. And it sold for $35. And I paid $5. So, there you have it. Those are eight sales. And I've been wrapping for 17 minutes. I do need to just find that tape and finish wrapping. Here we go. Afterwards. So, priority mail, Tyvek envelopes, they work great, and they are free from the post office. And they say priority mail inside. When I first started selling years ago, um, they didn't say priority mail inside, and a lot of people, including myself, would turn them inside out and use them to sell, I mean, use them to ship ground, which was really nice, but... It is what it is, so now I purchase them. Okay, and there we have it. Those are my eight sales that I had overnight and yesterday, yesterday, within 24 hours. Those are my sales. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it, and check me out at MC Wear for you.